in So, yeah, in the note now we have this feedback for day one and also a box here for what to prepare for day two. So please come and this poll here, um, comment where things too fast, too slow, right speed, whatever. We also have places to note. Um, so what went well? What should we improve for next time and any other comments you have? We always take these and try take these into account. So today was like sort of very high level. So you saw lots of ideas about things, but not many ways to actually do them. But that's the point. So today's sort of getting ready, high level stuff. And then it is tomorrow where we actually start messing with the cluster and running things. So for that, this connecting to the cluster is very important that you have working. By the time tomorrow starts, oh, there goes the cat. By the time tomorrow starts, it will be too late to fix anything. Luckily, you've got several hours tomorrow morning to work that out. <coughs> um. There are some other things to prepare. So as we see here, um, there's, so we'll be using the cluster from the command line and that's not something that we will teach, but we do have these lessons here, which go into the details. Um, and yeah, so basically, if you're not very comfortable with the command line, read one or both. Well, they're pretty similar. Read one of these and actually um, maybe try some of the practices and so on. And that way you'll be ready for tomorrow. Is there anything else people should do to get ready for tomorrow? Or any other news for the day? Yeah, I would maybe would just say that like like today we talked about a lot about um, like what is involved in scientific computing, like what sort of things are involved in that. And tomorrow we'll be mainly focusing on how do you actually like, we talked a lot about or mentioned a lot about resources as asking for resources, choosing the hardware you want to run on and that sort of stuff. And tomorrow we'll be talking a lot about that, like, okay, how do you get stuff in the cluster? How do you how do you how do you know where your code is running? And uh, for that, it's good to like basically the VS Code is is a good example of something that you do something on your machine, but actually it's been done in some other place. Like the actually the the running is being done in a remote place. So tomorrow tomorrow we'll be basically jumping to the never never land of of the HPC cluster where goals are different and and. There's uh, different interesting kinds of ad adventures to be had. So basically, just uh, just remember that and and be all already on the on the mindset that okay, we'll be we'll be working in a different kind of an ecosystem and different kind of a world um, compared to your laptop or your computer that you're watching this with. Yeah. Um. Um. I I I would say like. When I think about my student days and the first day of using Triton, all of these data would be a bit confusing at first, but it's something that you get used to it very fast yeah. when you get the basic ideas of and the basic uh, like fundamental definitions of the job and the resources. And so if it's a bit confusing for now, I think it's completely okay and you would get used to it very fast. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's sort of the core problem here. Like, There's so many layers of things that are built on top of each other. So there's basic Linux command line usage. And then on top of that, we have remote connection. On top of that, we have this whole queuing system. And then somewhere in there is all the data things. It is a lot, but exactly. hopefully you can um, get examples and, well, work through it somehow. Um, it yeah, will take time. And yeah, and in most cases, like we we try to like like 
in many cases it's a bit of a word word salad. So so there's technologies, words mentioned, uh, and if we if we use unfamiliar words, do no uh, mention that in the notes because this is something that we use the words all the time. Mm -hmm. We are we we are in in the language like we we have it. But it's not meant yeah. to be like a secret club that you all, you need to know the handshakes in order to get into. Like all of these words are just that we know what the meaning is, but but uh, we try to explain them in a way that like they're they're not nothing. Um, they're not not uh, something that is like impenetrable. So so just just ask and we'll try to explain them uh, if we forget to mention them. Yeah. Um, so please continue giving us this feedback here. There's 50 people watching, and this is not 50 answers. Um, at least this poll would be really nice to see. Um, there is a question, if you don't have access to a cluster, well, we can only teach it. We can't give you access if you're not at one of our institutions. But if you're in a some university they probably have some method of doing this or you know you can listen and you have the knowledge and you can come back later when you need to okay um yeah um should we end then i guess we're over time already so thanks to everyone and see you tomorrow. Please, see so tomorrow. as it says here, you can keep joining this Zoom for help with connecting, and you can keep asking us questions here, and we'll keep answering for a few more minutes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.